Hello and welcome to Reinfused. Today we are taking a look at New Zealand Story. Now, you've probably seen New Zealand Story on the channel before. Yes, it's a very big favourite game of mine and it's been on a lot of platforms and it tends to be a very good game on all those platforms and so I have covered it more than once and certainly I've covered it on the FM Towns Marty which is a very good conversion. Now this is kind of surprisingly not that great. Well, no, that's unfair. It's still a great game and it plays really well, all the important stuff there, but it's quite cut back compared to... Any... Let's just get into it. That's probably the best way. So anyway, let's start this off. Now, if you've never played New Zealand Story, first of all, you should definitely pick it up because it's a, it's a genuinely just fun game. And so this is effectively what... I picked up a laser gun. <laughs> this is effectively the game, so that's you. That's your uh, your Kiwi. And the idea is that your friends have been kidnapped. Now, in other versions, going to the things that have been cut back, there's a little animation at the beginning which shows all your friends being kidnapped by uh, Walrus. Walrus is being the bad guys in this game. Uh, we don't get that in this version, which is a shame. So, yeah, the idea is... Oh, bomb. I've got bombs now. I should have kept the laser. So here's your friends, and the idea is you go for each level and you rescue a friend. And then that gets you to the next level. There's actually a level skip in, in that screen, but I didn't use it because I'd like to sort of get somewhere in this screen. And Yeah, well, you know, otherwise I'm just going to die and we won't get anywhere. Now some of the... Oop, uh, they do fire at you, and some of the enemies are quite intelligent and will jump up platforms and stuff to get to you. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's nice. And there's, you know, it, this is a, it's a good version of the game. It's, uh, there's, go up, don't you? There's, uh, <laughs> it's just colourful, which this game is. This game is really colourful on every, oh, that wasn't good. This game is colourful on every platform it's on. Oops. So, um, you know, hello, let's give me another balloon. Yeah, this game is colourful on every platform it's on. I will finish that sentence. Which is, is good. Because uh, this game really does need to be colourful. It's got this nice little cartoony... Kiwi bird. Which... It's just got one of the cutest main characters of every game ever. And yeah. But it is one of the hallmarks of the game is this... Uh, this the colours. <laughs> Oh, we're, we're only three, three levels in on the first round. Yeah, so it, it's it's a colourful game. The animation's quite nice. But it's just, um, yeah. There's just bits missing. And I can't, um, I don't think I'll get to this to one of the main levels where that's obvious. There's a level later on, which I could have got if I'd used the level skip. And it's uh, a water level which has uh, all of these tentacle monsters, basically in a pool that you have to... Can I reach that? <laughs> All these tentacle, these tentacle monsters in the pool you have to reach, and those are gone from this, which is a, it's a real shame. And the boss on that level kind of relies on you being able to avoid stuff when you go... You have to go inside it. It's a giant well. It's a real kind of Jonah moment. And so that relies on you going inside to actually defeat it, and water droplets fall to the sky and kill you when they touch you. But because it's so much smaller on this version, it's it's really hard to do. Oh, I knew that was coming as well. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we will. Maybe we'll just quickly go through and we will... I should not have done continue. Oh, no, it doesn't matter because selections run. So let's end that and we'll start. And this time I'll use the level skip. Yeah, so right here there's usually the animation which kind of explains what's going on a bit. Oh, we'll speed up. Ah, speed up. I mean, that looks like it's been written... Well, yeah, let's just say not pen. <laughs> so you can either... Oh, yeah, those boomerangs, if, you, if you're not careful, they, they hit you on the way back. So, yeah, if you see if we fire, then the bullets kind of stop in midair. And that's because that's there. So we can dive into that, and that then knocks us to round four. So this is it. So in other versions, basically, there's little tentacle monsters in here which make this bit a lot harder, whereas for me... I can just kind of walk along like this, and I'm not in that much danger of my air fault running out. There we go. Yeah, so it kind of takes away a lot of the challenge of that part. Oh, 
This is uh, there's lots of um, as well as your character being colourful. There's lots and lots of uh, colourful bad guys as well. All right, so we won't get to get this one because that will disappear. And this is the the boss character I was talking about. It's a frozen whale. So <laughs> certainly inventive. Uh, and you attack him a bit here, avoiding his snowflakes. That's not hard because they never seem to come any closer. And then he'll eat you. And then you have to keep firing at him while these blocks. But because they're so close, they're so small. Oh, I did it. That's. <laughs> but because it's, it's such a small area, it's really hard to avoid them. That's the uh, the best I've done on that one since I started trying to play this a bit earlier. I'm surprised I didn't die there. That's the other thing about this. You you don't really seem to get to die that easily when they touch you, which is odd. In other versions, as soon as you're even slightly touched by them, that's it. You're uh, you're you're over. So that's odd. Oh, bats dropped their poop on me. I'm assuming it's poop. Well, the music is really. It's the same tune again and again, but but you know what? It's a great tune. I don't care. <laughs> it's one of my favourite tunes in music. It's so upbeat. <laughs> it's like I reckon if um if a band uh, had to be attributed to a game, they might be giants. Would would be this this game. <laughs> it just uh the tune kind of the the, the happiness of it just reminds me of um. Birdhouse in your soul. <laughs> Jump. Okay, we're through. Oh, it's it's a bit of a non-stopper this game as well. Uh, up you go. <laughs> there just always seems to be something going on the screens, and a lot of bad guys around, which I, I I'm guessing is is the reason why there's um. Oh, <laughs> the reason why a lot of stuff's cut out because there is a lot going on. Right. There you are, New Zealand story on the PC Engine. It's not the best version. There are quite a few other versions that are better. I think the Mega Drive version is better. The FM Towns version is pretty much an exact and perfect port of the arcade machine. It's very much well, well worth playing. But you know what? It's a fun game no matter what. It's always a good time. And this is definitely playable. The animation is lovely. The colours are lovely. Yeah, it's just genuinely worth Genuinely, genuinely worth playing and picking up. You know what? Whatever, if you've got a platform that there's a version of this out for, and it's it is on a lot of platforms, pick it up if you haven't played it. It's a very good game. Right? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like. If you really enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video, then leave a comment below telling us what you think. See you next time.